This could be the room of any small boy, but it just happens to belong to a boy named Christopher Robin. Like most small boys, Christopher Robin has toy animals to play with, and they live together in a wonderful world of make-believe. But his best friend is a bear called Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh for short. Now Pooh had some very unusual adventures, and they all happened right here in the Hundred Acre Wood. Deep in the hundred acre wood Where Christopher Robin plays You'll find the enchanted neighborhood Of Christopher's childhood days A donkey named Eeyore is his friend And Kanga and Little Moo Now the Hundred Acre Wood boasted many natural wonders, but none was more beautiful than a tiny stream running through the forest. This particular stream had a very long way to travel. And by the time it reached the edge of the forest, it had grown up so it was almost a river. Being grown up, it said to itself, there is no hurry, we shall get there someday. Now crossing the river at its most peaceful spot was an old wooden bridge. It was a familiar spot to Winnie the Pooh, for he would often wander there, doing nothing in particular and thinking nothing in particular. But on the most recent of these excursions, something took his mind off of nothing. Hmm, this is a very good fur cone, and something ought to rhyme to it. Think, think, think. Now, fir cones belong in trees, up high with the buzzing bees. But this one I found down on the ground, freed by a gentle breeze. <laughs> Bother. I suppose I shall have to find another one. Pooh had every intention of getting another fir cone, but the river was slipping away so peacefully beneath him that he began to slip away with it. That's funny. I dropped it on the other side, and it came out on this side. Hmm. 
I wonder if it would do it again. I wonder which will come out first. Well, the big one came out first, and the little one came out last, which was what Pooh wanted. I did? Yes, Pooh, and that was the beginning of a game called Pooh Sticks. Which I invented. Now, one day, Pooh and Piglet, Rabbit and Roo were all playing Pooh Sticks together. But why call it Pooh Sticks? I thought I started with fur cones. You did, Pooh, but sticks were easier to mark. Oh, yes. Now I remember. <clears throat> now, one day, Pooh and Piglet, Rabbit and Roo were all playing poo sticks together. Uh, all right. Now, now, the first stick to pass all the way under the bridge wins. Now, on your marks, get set. Roo, we must all start together. Oh, dear. Now, where was I? Oh, oh yes. On your marks, get set. I can see mine. I win. I win. Can you see yours, Pooh? No. I expect my sticks stuck. <sighs> they always take longer than you think. Oh, I can see yours, Piglet. Mine's a sort of grayish one. Yes, that's what I can see. It's coming over to my side. Come on, stick, stick, stick. Are you sure it's mine? It's a big gray one. Here it comes, a very big gray. No, 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 it isn't. It's, it's Eeyore. Eeyore. Don't pay any attention to me. Nobody ever does. Eeyore, what are you doing down there? Give you three guesses. Fishing? Wrong. Going for a sail? Wrong again. Uh, waiting for somebody to uh, help you out of the river? That's right. Give Rabbit the time, and he'll get the answer. He's going round and round. If I decide to practice the slide movement from right to left, or left to right, it's nobody's business but my own. Eeyore, what can we... I mean, how sh 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 should we... Uh, you think if, if we... Yes, one of those would be just the thing. Thank you, Piglet. I've got an idea, but I don't suppose it's a very good one. I don't suppose it is. Uh, go on, Pooh. Let's have it. Well, if we all threw stones and things into the river on one side of Eeyore, the stones would make waves, and the waves would wash him to the other side. Oh, oh yeah. that's a very good idea. I'm glad we thought of it, Pooh. Uh, Pooh? Oh, Piglet, Piglet, give Pooh a little more room. Get back a bit there, Roo. Uh, I, I think a little to the left, Pooh. Uh, uh, no, no, to the right, yes. Eeyore, could you stop turning around for a moment? Because it muddles me rather. I like turning, especially round. Uh, Pooh, when I say now, you can drop it. Uh, Eeyore, when I say now, Pooh will drop the stone. Uh, are you ready? Ready. Uh, one, uh, let me see, uh, two, uh, now. Oh, dear. Perhaps it wasn't such a very good idea after all. There he is. Oh, Eeyore, you're all wet. That happens when you've been in a river a long time, Piglet. How did you fall in, Eeyore? I was bounced. Did somebody push you? Somebody bounced me. I was thinking by the side of the river, minding my own business, when I received a loud bounce. But who did it? I expect it was Tigger. Eeyore, was it... 
Tigger. <laughs> Hello, Rabbit. Tigger, what happened just now? Uh, just when? When you bounced Eeyore into the river. Oh, I, I didn't bounce him. He bounced me. Oh, I didn't really. Uh, I, uh, well, I, I just had a cough, you see, and I, and I happened to be behind Eeyore, and I said, uh, uh, I said, uh, <laughs> It's all right, Piglet. That's what I call bouncing. I didn't bounce. I coughed. Bouncing or coughing, it's all the same. Oh, no, it's not. Try bouncing me, Tigger. All I did was cough. You bounced. Coughed. Bounced. Coughed. Excuse me, perhaps I can help. Who said that? It's the narrator. In order to find out what really happened, We'll simply return to the spot where Eeyore was thinking by the side of the river, up at the top of page 245. There's Eeyore! So he did bounce him. Oh, well, it was just a joke. Some people have no sense of humor. Tigger's so thoughtless with his bouncing. Why should Tigger think of me? Nobody else does. Why do you say that, Eeyore? Without question, something was troubling Eeyore. And while his friends puzzled over his unusual behavior, Eeyore followed the stream back to his gloomy spot which became even gloomier than usual. Pathetic. Just as I thought, no better from this side. Nobody minds, nobody cares. Pathetic. Eeyore, what's the matter? What makes you think anything's the matter? You seem so sad. Why should I be sad? It's my birthday, the happiest day of the year. Your birthday? Of course. Can't you see all the presents? No. Can't you see the cake, the candles, the pink sugar? No. Neither can I. Oh. Well, many happy returns of the day, Eeyore. Thank you, Pooh. But we can't all. And some of us don't. Can't all what? No gaiety. No song and dance. No here we go round the mulberry bush. But don't worry about me, Pooh. Go and enjoy yourself. I'll stay here and be miserable. With no presents, no cake, no candles. Eeyore, wait right here. Pooh hurried home as fast as he could, when who should he find in front of his house but Piglet? Hello, Pooh. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to... Oh, oh. that is, I was trying to reach the n -n -n knocker. Let me do it for you. But Pooh, I found out what's troubling poor Eeyore. It's his birthday, and nobody has taken any notice of it. And he's very gloomy and... Well, whoever lives here certainly takes a long time answering his door. But, 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 but Pooh, isn't this your house? Oh, so it is. Well, let's go in. Hmm, I must get poor Eeyore a present of some sort. Honey, that should do very well. Uh, what are you going to give, Piglet? Couldn't I give it to from b -b 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 both of us? No, Piglet, that would not be a very good plan. Perhaps I could give Eeyore a balloon. That, Piglet, is a very good idea. Nobody could be uncheered by a balloon. I have one at home. I'll go and get it right now. So off Piglet trotted in one direction. And in the other direction went Pooh with his jar of honey. However, Pooh hadn't gone very far when a very funny feeling began to creep over him. It began at the tip of his nose. 
and trickled all the way down to the soles of his feet, as if someone inside him was saying, Now then, Pooh, time for a little something. So Pooh had a little something. And then he had a little more. And a little more. Until he had taken his last lick from the inside of the jar. Now let me see. Where was I going? Oh, yes. Eeyore. I was going to... Oh, bother. I must give Eeyore something. I think I shall go see my good friend Owl. Oh, that should do it. The perfect spot. Yes, yes, coming. Pooh, to what do I owe this? Many happy returns of Eeyore's birthday, Owl. Oh, is that what it was? Well, come in, Pooh, come in. You know, that reminds me of the birthday of my great-uncle Robert, a portrait of whom you see upon the wall on your right. He had just reached the ripe old age of 103, although, of course, he would only admit to 97, and we all felt a celebration was in order. So, while Uncle Robert was returning in the late forenoon from a... What are you giving him, Owl? Uh, giving who, Pooh? Eeyore. Oh, Eeyore. <laughs> yes, I... Uh, it... What are you giving him, Pooh? I'm giving him this useful pot to keep things in, and I wanted to ask you... A useful pot? Hmm. Evidently, someone has been keeping honey in it. You can keep anything in it. It's very useful like that. And I wanted to ask you... Oh, you ought to write happy birthday on it. That was what I wanted to ask you. My spelling is wobbly. Hmm, very well then. <clears throat> if you please. It's easier if people don't look while I'm writing. There, all finished. What do you think of it? I kept it simple. Just saying happy birthday. It seems like a lot of words. Yes, well, um, actually, uh, of course, I, uh, I wrote a very happy birthday with love from Pooh. Naturally, it takes a good deal of words to say a long thing like that. Oh, I see. Uh, well, thank you, Owl. Eeyore will be most pleased. Oh, I do hope so. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm flying directly over to Christopher Robbins to tell him the news. Many happy returns of Eeyore's birthday, Piglet! Oh, and many happy returns to you too, Owl! doesn't like balloons so very much. Good afternoon, Piglet, if it is a good afternoon, which I doubt. Many happy returns of the d -d 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 day. Meaning my birthday. Yes, Eeyore, and I, I've brought you a present. Pardon me, Piglet. My hearing must be going. I thought you said you brought me a present. I did. I've brought you a 
balloon Balloon? Did you say balloon? Yes, but I'm afraid... Oh, I'm very sorry, but when I was running, uh, that is, uh, to bring it, I... I fell down and... and, uh... My balloon? My birthday balloon? Red. My favorite color. How big was it? About as big as m -m 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 me. My favorite size. Many happy returns of the day, Eeyore. I've brought you a little present. It's a useful pot, and it's got a very happy birthday with love from Pooh written on it. And it's for putting things in. Like a balloon? Oh, no, Eeyore. Balloons are much too big to go into a... So it does. Eeyore, I'm very glad that I thought of giving you a useful pot to put things in. And I'm very glad I thought of giving you something to put in a useful p -p 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 pot. Many happy returns, Eeyore. <gasps> Hooray! Ooh, bravo, bravo. Good show. This reminds me of the party we once gave my great-uncle Robert. He had just reached the ripe old age of 103, though, of course, he would only admit to 97. So we had to instruct the guests to pretend that he... Hello! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not... Tigger. Hello, Tigger. We're having a party. A party? <laughs> oh, boy, a party. Oh, Tiggers love parties. Oh, and cake! Oh, fair! <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve showing up here after what you did to Eeyore. Hmm. Well, I think Tigger should leave. Oh, let him stay. What do you think, Christopher Robin? I think... I think we all ought to play poo sticks. Who sticks? Oh, boy! <laughs> That's what Tiggers do best! So they gathered on the old wooden bridge and played the game for many contented hours. And Eeyore, who had never played it before, won more times than anyone else. But poor Tigger won none at all. Brrr, tiggers don't like poof sticks. Let's play again. We must go home now, dear. It's past your bedtime. Gee, do we have to? I'm not tired. Come along. Uh, I think uh, uh, we should all be going. Yes, quite right. Congratulations, Eeyore. It's been a delightful party. Thank you all. Tigger, I'd be happy to tell you my secret for winning at Poo Sticks. Uh, you would? It's very easy. You just have to let your stick drop in a twitchy sort of way. Oh, yeah, I forgot to twitch. That was my problem. <laughs> Bounced again. Tigger's all right, really. Of course he is. Everybody is, really. That's what I think, but I don't suppose I'm right. Of course you are, silly old bear.